We've all had our hair styled. But have you ever had your hair styled like this? This is Fantasy Hair. Across America, creative hairstylists cut loose from who's got the juice in some of the craziest hair shows ever. They bring the dance moves, the costumes, and the swagger. But mostly, they bring the hair. The towering, outrageous dudes, each designed to outwow the competition and turn a head of hair into movable art. Fantasy hair is not a moral hairstyle. It's not a hairstyle you walk down the street with, you go to church with, you go to school with. Fantasy hair is like sculptures made out of hair. Fantasy hair is extreme. We gathered six of the best fantasy hairstylists to face off in a Super Bowl of style. Let's get this battle started. The winner gets a hundred thousand dollars salon they go in a ten page spread in bold, working with fashion's most celebrated photographer, Baby La Chapelle. But most importantly, they'll win ultimate bragging rights as America's champion of fantasy hair. It's about to get snippy up in here. You gave up. Don't, Don't be jealous. jealous. Of who? Of what? Do y'all smell that? It smells like y'all chances going up in smoke. These people are very talented shit talkers. This is hair off the hook. This is hair battle spectacular. Give it up! Meet the stylist, Ginger, the hair ninja. Winner of awards from over 20 fantasy hair competitions. I've been an artist my whole life. I do details like, dang, how does she do that? Roy B, the show. Holding first place trophies for shows like the Golden Scissors and Platinum Cheers. I perform. I will go completely out of the box, over the top. It's a hair show. Adam, the avant-garde stylist, salon director and U.S. representative at the Wella International Stylist Competition. I'm an avant-garde hairstylist. I really love innovative color. Anything that is loud and attention grabbing. I'm ready for this. Jamie, the rock and roll stylist. Naha competitor and winner of the Wella Trend Vision Award. I really enjoyed the oddities and the freaks. This punk rock chic just kind of naturally comes out. Tarina, the baddest in fantasy hair. Winner of 19 fantasy hair show awards, including Madel Madel. Structure and precision, that's what I specialize in. I can create anything out of here. I'm ready, bring it. Malik, the conqueror. The first place title of such shows as the Milky Way. I do everything from precision cut to airbrush makeup. In the world of fantasy hair, I am God. Hello, stylists. Welcome to Hair Battle Spectacular. I'm your host, the fabulous Takara, and I will be running things in here. This handsome gentleman standing next to me is Mr. Glenn Jackson. He is the creator of the best and biggest hair show in the country, the Golden Scissors Awards. He would be your mentor, your cheerleader, and your critic. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm excited to be here, and I look forward to watching each of you turn it. To find out that Glenn Jackson is our mentor, that was the icing on the cake for everything. He's been in the industry for years. Now, as you all know, fantasy hair is the result of hours and hours of hard labor. You are here to battle it out for a $100,000 salon makeover. Aww. A spread in bold with photographer David LaChapelle and the title, Champion of Fantasy Hair. I'm gonna walk in that competition and I'm gonna tell you to your face, you showed up for nothing. Hope you still got your plane ticket. You'll be getting back on there with nothing in your hands. Now, the Hair Battle Spectacular is coming up later. But first, we're going to do a quick challenge, Style by Fire. These challenges are all about speed and skill. Sometimes, as a fantasy hairstylist, you don't always have the tools you need to make your hairstyles work. So you got to make it happen by any means necessary. In each one of these hat boxes are objects that are going to test your ability to improvise. I'm talking about everyday household items. Your job is to take these items and turn everyday hair into a fantasy hair showpiece. The winner of this challenge will get a leg up in the elimination challenge tomorrow night, the Hair Battle Spectacular. <laughs> Adam, why don't you come up and choose a box? Open it up and tell everyone what you have. <laughs> 
roll of paper towels, and electrical wire with alligator clips on the ends. A empty plastic bottle, and a big plastic tube. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad I didn't get her box. That big stupid pipe, you can't put a hairpin in that. Some straws, and a pillow. <laughs> Balloons, no whisk. A lampshade. <laughs> and <laughs> two doorknobs. A baby umbrella. And a ace bandage. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I have never used an umbrella or an ace bandage in a fantasy hairstyle. Thank you. Let's get this challenge started. Stylists, meet your models. Oh, and one more little tiny thing. You only have one hour to pull together your masterpiece. A fantasy piece in an hour? I was like, are you serious? Fantasy takes hours to build. Your hour starts now. The difference between fantasy hair and everyday wear, fantasy is 90% artificial hair. It's styrofoam, wire, hot glue. I can create almost anything out of hair. I make full-fledged shapes out of hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm the fantasy king, you know, in California. You know, that's what I'm known for. I want it to look like very high fashion, but in kind of an avant-garde direction. I come from a very upscale, conservative salon and spa in the Midwest. I'm gonna make like a headband. Cool. It's gonna be super duper like cool. It. And so what I'm good at is high fashion editorial long hair dressing. I had two items. I had a bundle of straws and I had a pillow. I immediately cut up the pillow, took all of the stuffing out of it, made that into a ball, wrapped that around a ponytail, so pillows incorporated. I started to kind of build my design around that. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Okay. What I'm gonna do is make bowls, hair bowls out of these. I'm such a perfectionist at my work that I thought, okay, if I put the umbrella in and open it up and put hair on it, yeah, it's gonna be really big, but it's gonna be ugly. I never used balloons before. I've always thought about using it, but now I have no choice. It's gonna be my birthday hat. Since I got balloons, why not have a party on her head? Here I'm looking at a half inch thick plastic tube, and I'm just breathing fire at that point. I'm gonna have you hold this in center while I tie you. How am I gonna get this to stay on my model's head? I've never used anything like this before. <laughs> We're gorgeous, aren't we? <laughs> I never thought I'd be flat ironing paper towels in my career. You know, this cone is going up with stripes on it. I'm like, oh my god. I was actually feeling really good because my model looked the least ridiculous, I thought. I don't see that dough knob yet, Roy. Clearly, I don't see much over there at all. <laughs> oh, okay. I was really curious how he was going to use those doorknobs because doorknobs are heavy. Yes, Lord, I'm curious. Malik likes the sound of his voice. Y'all smell that? Mm-mm, it smells like y'all chances going up in smoke. I wanted to turn him around and see if there was a volume control. Mm-hmm, watch out now. And turn it all the way down. 